be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Someone has said nobody's absolutely useless, you can always be a bad example. And it seems that that's pretty much the story of Samson. He teaches us what not to do, at least. And the tragedy of Samson is that while he was able to win the battle with the lion, he didn't win the battle with the other lion. He was able to fight the Philistines, but he wasn't able to fight the passions of his own heart. And may I give a strong appeal against the unequal yoke. The downfall of Samson and the downfall of Solomon and the downfall of many a man since then have been the unequal yoke. The scripture says that Solomon's wives turned his heart away from the Lord. And you can argue about it, and you can say, well, we're just dating, we're just going out together. But my friend, once your heart takes over, you might as well kiss your brain goodbye. I, I'm afraid I don't have much of a track record when it comes to talking to young people who've given their hearts away. They didn't intend to do it, but neither did Samson. But he lost his eyes. He lost his testimony. He lost his ministry. He lost his freedom. And eventually he lost his life, all because of the unequal yoke. Dangerous business. I mean, there are a lot of things in the Bible you, you might not understand, but this is one thing you can't misunderstand. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. You don't need a lexicon for that one, do you? It's clear. God hates mixtures. And he won't have it. He won't have it. And you can say, well, ours is going to be different, or I'm involved in uh, some sort of evangelistic program with this fellow. Listen, God's after him, not you. And if God wants to save him, you pray for him, and God will raise up somebody else to reach him. But you stay away. The word of God is plain. And if we play with fire, we're going to get burned.